Welcome to St. Stephen the Martyr Parish and the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. My brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus calls us to take up our cross and follow him, to live in a way pleasing to God. He offers us his body and blood as food to strengthen us for a life of love and service so that we may be conformed not to this world, but to him who is our life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to our celebration of this Holy Mass here at St. Stephen, Monterey Park. And thank you, God, for giving us this opportunity to uh, serve this Mass to your people and we are happy to have with us our blessings in our community. Thank you, EJ, for recording our Mass, and Gabriel for the sound of music. Thank you, Felix, for proclaiming God's Word in Lourdes. Thank you for opening the church and preparing everything we need. And we offer this Mass for all your intentions, my dear people of God of St. Stephen, and all of you who are watching this video. May God help you through his blessings and whatever you're going through especially during this uh, time of pandemic. My dear brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
earth, peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever, amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out, violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then, it becomes like fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God.
Thus have I gazed towards you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up your hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied. And with exultant lips, my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you. my health, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Lectura de la Carta del Apóstol San Pablo a los Romanos Hermanos, por la misericordia que Dios les ha manifestado, los exhorto a que se ofrezcan ustedes mismos como una ofrenda viva, santa y agradable a Dios, porque en esto consiste el verdadero culto. No se dejen transformar por los criterios de este mundo, sino dejen que una nueva manera de pensar los transforme internamente para que sepan distinguir cuál es la voluntad de Dios, es decir, lo que es bueno, lo que le agrada, lo perfecto. Palabra de Dios. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. <clears throat> Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to, re to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to his conduct. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Let us remember the following in this Mass. We pray for Selena. We call her Ate Selena Gaffney for her eternal repose. Um, and praying for the Adelia family. Um, and also we pray for uh, James Hudson, the husband of my uh, beloved friend Elizabeth Hudson from St. Christopher Church. Eternal rest grant unto Selena and James, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. We offer this Mass also for you, Felix Castillo, our lector, is uh, into a new business. So we pray that God will prosper your business. Uh, Mommy Zen and Gerald, uh, hi to you. And also we pray for um, Francisco and Estrelita Bongolto. Uh, I hope, Mom, uh, you could hear me better this time. Um, so praise the Lord. Alleluia. God is the best all the time. I can do everything in Christ who strengthens me. And the Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. So um, Jesus is telling us here in the gospel that there's uh, no other way how to follow him but to carry the cross. Um, that is how it is to be his disciple. And uh, we, um, we know that all of his disciples do the same thing. All of them were martyred except St. John the Evangelist. So all of them carried their crosses given them by God. So it is very important to pick up our crosses. And I'm sure all of us here have a cross to carry, not just one perhaps, but many crosses, and even heavy, heavy to lift. That's why we are praying today in this Mass. Lord, please help us to carry our cross. Help us to always remember that there's no other salvation. Our crosses is our our salvation. If you want to be saved, if you want to be close to Jesus, always embrace and carry your cross. There's no other way how to be a good friend of Jesus. There's no friend, real friend of Jesus who does not pick up his cross. No? Only those who are faithful in carrying their crosses every day will be a good friend of Jesus. It is not the person who wears a beautiful gold cross. Is it gold or golden? Golden cross on his neck, around his neck? No, it is the person who carries the cross. And carrying the cross requires um, a positive attitude. How do you look at your cross? How do you see your cross? And uh, cross means pain, means suffering. It hurts us. And nobody loves pain. But that is how we should follow Jesus. It's through pain. Cross means pain. So here in the gospel, we find Peter telling Jesus, God forbid that you will suffer and have to die and, and give yourselves, yourself up to your enemies. But Jesus said to Peter, who was just last Sunday telling Peter, you are great, you are the rock. This time, Jesus is telling Peter, get behind me, Satan. <laughs> because Peter doesn't think the way God does, the way Jesus, Jesus does. For, for Jesus, the cross, suffering, 
Laying down one's life is a necessity. It is even an opportunity. A necessity to, to save all of us, mankind. For Peter, pain should never happen to us. And that's, uh, that's our normal, normal reaction to, to pain. We, we want to avoid it. We don't want pain. We hate it. As much as possible, life has to be very comfortable, easy, painless. But that is not how life is. Life, to be more exciting, <laughs> should have a cross. So if you don't have a cross, ask God to give you a cross. Because I don't know if life is exciting with, without a cross. What do you think, Lourdes? If you don't have a cross, boring, you know, just like my uh, priest said uh, about my homily, boring, because I was reading my homily before. You know, he told me, boring, Joseph, your homily is boring. But anyway, um, so cross, cross, cross. So how do you look at your cross? Cross should... Uh, um, it requires a response, not a reaction. Reaction is when, oh, cross, oh, I, I'm afraid of, I'm scared of it. I should avoid it. I don't want it. That's a reaction. But response is, bring it on. Lord, if you give me this cross, I'm going to carry it. I'm going to embrace it. Thank you. That's the response. <laughs> to your cross. And the cross can be a responsibility. And Lord is, Hats off to you, your responsibility as a volunteer, preparing everything we need in the church. You're always there, every day. That's how it is to carry a cross, with, a, with always a positive attitude. Respond. Don't avoid it. Don't hate it. So your spouse could be your cross. You should not avoid your spouse. Serve your... <laughs> Serve your spouse. Love your spouse. Appreciate your spouse. Because who knows? Your spouse is your salvation. He, will, he has the key to your heaven. If you avoid your spouse, hmm, that's, not, that's not carrying your cross. Always, always respond by taking good care of your responsibilities. And sometimes I just hate to get up in the morning because another day full of responsibilities. You see how, how, how uh, this, our thoughts, would influence us in the way we face our responsibilities. But if we think of our cross as our responsibilities, all these challenges is opportunity. <laughs> see? This is my way to serve Jesus. When I pick up this cross, even if it's painful, pain is gain. Amen? <laughs> pain is gain. And you know what? Uh, most of the time, a cross could be your boss. No? <laughs> Who is a pain in the toot-toot. <laughs> Who is a thorn on her side. Could be your boss who, oh, very difficult to work with. But you know what? Looking back, my boss really taught me a lot of wisdom. No? He taught me how to be humble because I was so proud and my boss told me, you know, Joseph, you still have a lot of work to do the way you give your homily. Don't read your homily. Don't be, uh, don't do this. Don't. Thank you, thank you to all my bosses who taught me. Although you were crosses, you were also... Um, you helped me to learn, to grow. Thank you. So, um, again, always remember to, uh, that this cross you have right now, don't avoid it. Carry it. Appreciate the cross because it is in this, that cross that you will, you will be close to Jesus. Away from the cross, away from Jesus. There's no other way but to pick up the cross, and cross means suffering. 
But remember, without the cross and suffering of Jesus, we won't make it to heaven. So a suffering for a purpose, a suffering for a mission. When you suffer because you're carrying your cross, like you're sick with COVID, we pray for, for all these people who were sick with COVID. Lord, please heal them. But wherever you are, my dear, my dear brothers and sisters, you are sick right now, you can use your suffering for somebody, for souls in purgatory, for those who are having crises in their faith, for those who are um, suffering in, in uh, so many ways. Offer your suffering for these people. Offer your suffering for your loved ones. Offer your suffering for anyone. Tell God, God, use my suffering, use my pain. And I sacrifice myself for them. Okay, so um, following Jesus means also sacrifice, just like Jesus did. Sacrifice. Sometimes and oftentimes we have to sacrifice. And right now, you, EJ, you sacrifice your time. Instead of just being home, watching your uh, video, doing your video game, that's how it is to follow Jesus. You've been following Jesus. That's why I'm praying to God, God, please uh, tell EJ to become your priest. <laughs> sorry, 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 no pressure. <laughs> Lord, please tell Felix to become your deacon. I'm <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Who knows, no? Who knows? So, um, and, and carrying our cross is difficult. So we need the strength of Christ. So whenever you're suffering right now because of a cross, don't carry it by yourself. Always tell, always remember, Jesus is carrying the cross with you. Okay, so what if we end this with a song from um, To Be Sung by Felix. Felix, could you please sing that song? And if you know this song, Google it and sing with Felix. It's a beautiful, inspiring song. It's an a cappella. <clears throat> okay, Father. There is no problem too big. God cannot solve it. There is no mountain too tall. God cannot move it. There is no storm too dark. God cannot calm it. There is no sorrow too deep. He cannot soothe it. If he carried a weight of the world upon his shoulders, I know my brother that he will carry you. If he carried a weight of the world upon his shoulders, I know my sister that he will carry you. He said, come unto me. All who are weary and I will give you rest and I will give you rest. Amen. Thank you, Felix. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven 
and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Firm in our commitment to follow the Lord, let us bring our prayers before our loving God. For all Christians who have made recognizable sacrifices in the service of the gospel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders who exhibit a true spirit of selflessness in their manner of governing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who, like the prophet Jeremiah, feel duped by God and yet are eager to discern his will in their lives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick who manifest and maintain the power of hope in the midst of anguish and pain, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all students and teachers, as they begin a new academic year, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our church who have offered their bodies as a living sacrifice, especially for modern day mystics and martyrs, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also once again um, pray for all of our brothers and sisters who are suffering um, in one way or another during this uh, time of crisis, those who are sick, those who are responding to the needs of our sick brethren, doctors and nurses and first responders and, um, and uh, essential workers, help them, Lord, please, and help those businesses that suffered uh, greatly during this pandemic. We pray for all those who are looking for work, Lord, for those who have uh, lost their homes, the homeless. Please, Lord, provide for them. Give them uh, financial, um, material blessings. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our light and our salvation in the lives of the prophets, apostles, and saints, we find models of fidelity to you. Hear our prayers that we might serve you always with integrity and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Te voy. 
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. We will pray this Eucharistic prayer in Spanish. Santo eres en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques esos dones con la efusión de tu espíritu, de manera que se conviertan para nosotros en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor, el cual cuando iba a ser entregado a su pasión voluntariamente aceptada, tomó pan, dándote gracias, lo partió. Y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y coman todos de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. Del mismo modo, acabar la cena, tomó el cáliz y dándote gracias de nuevo. Lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, Tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía.
Ese es el misterio de la fe. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y el cáliz de salvación. Y te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad a cuantos participamos del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro arzobispo José y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo. Llévala a su perfección por la caridad. Acuérdate también de nuestros hermanos que se durmieron en la esperanza de la resurrección y todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia. Admírelos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Let's pause for a moment and offer this brief moment of silence for our beloved dead. Let us remember those, our loved ones who have passed away. Ten misericordia de todos nosotros y así con María la Virgen, Madre de Dios, su esposo San José, los apóstoles y cuantos vivieron en tu amistad a través de los tiempos, merezcamos por tu Hijo Jesucristo compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Por Cristo con él y en él, a ti Dios Padre Omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, everyone. E.J., Felix, Lourdes, Gabriel.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this Mass, my dear people of God who are watching us, uh, this um, video. Thank you. And also, uh, we will continue praying for your intentions uh, for the people of God of St. Stephen. And uh, thank you, Gabriel, for the gift of music. And um, again, EJ, thank you for your sacrifice. And Felix, and Lord, just thank you. And by the way, I like your uh, compositions, uh, Gabriel. And um, by the way, those songs, which uh, some songs which uh, Gabriel sang, for his composition. So keep composing for the Lord to praise him. Uh, use your talent, Gabriel, to glorify God. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying God by your lives. Before we sing, Gabriel, by, by the way, shout out to Police Officer Ruben Semirena. And Sienna, my condolences on behalf of uh, St. Stephen for the passing 
of your sister Melinda. We were, uh, we will continue praying for Melinda. Amen. Gabriel. <laughs> of heaven and 